The grass is not always greener on the other side, so they say, but in this case, it's way greener, it's purely organic and healthy, and of course, it's our motherland. Join us on our seven-hour journey to get to Ga'anliwah. It's the journey, not the destination that matters. Oh, and I can't forget, sit tight, because we picked up my new favorite character, Ebwen Iman Hebe. <laughs> So this is the story of how it took us seven hours to get to Ga'aniwa. Sit tight. So our day started at 6 a.m. We got this beautiful sunrise as proof as it was way too early to start vlogging. If you don't believe it's too early to vlog, you can ask the Saihina who has now finished his night shift and headed home for the day. That's my first Waraba sighting. And we're not even at Nasa imagine. I mean, Ga'anliba. We ended up taking the new highway that's actually still under construction, Laba Bukul, the 200th street that crosses just under Nasa Hablod. A highway across the entire city where you skip out on the inner city potholes since we will have more than enough off-roading ahead of us today. And of course, Hoya's standard greenhouse investigation along the road. Hey, <laughs> Cooper. Cucumber. Cucumber. Cucumber and honeydew. Melon. Okay, finally a nice patch of brand new road, a cup of tea for a mid-morning break, and cue the wrong turn that then led to the next seven hours of non-stop picking up hitchhikers and collecting amazing stories along the way. I immediately was not mad about the wrong turn once we picked up a lovely grandma who at every border control point shouted to each officer, You know you're entering a new province when you start to hear So we're pretty much at the point where no map can help you. We've entered a new province, as you can see here, it changes from Mrodicheh to Togder and even Sahil at some point. We just ended up winding up, down and around all these mountains. Our first indicator that we probably took the wrong way was when we hit the Mandera prison. I've always heard about this prison, but seeing it up close was definitely a different kind of eerie. Mandera wat magashen in Manta Mandera Sahdiya ba Hormarne and we got to see all the officers in training. But of course, back to the rocky mountains we attempted to climb. It's been like four hours and we're still not on a mountain. That's all I know. So happy detour because we're lost and look what's going on. Hey, hey. 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 H
تصبح له كيف تصبح له؟ أنا <تصفيق> 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 I'm so happy I don't even need to go to the mountains now. More exciting is that those ladies were so willing to let me record because they're so aware that that is a dying, dying tradition. Mashallah. Alright, pit stop. It's so exhausting in the car. But look at this. Mashallah. So of course we quickly picked up my new favorite character. Let me introduce you guys to Ebwen Iman Hebe. Turns out he is a whole poet and is now going to give us directions while we wind up and down and through the mountains. But first... Hanki Swam, Rabel Hamun to Nagatari, Hixi Der, your Hormor, you know why. He but then a lap, she had the chair, Musabi or Ganka no high, Halkam Kutors and Omeni. Adiga Hul and Yodola Hormari, Musa on Haredig, Hatia Chero on Kohampali and Hareta and Juna, Hayo Ganka Halevati, her son, Adam Kuruna, Halka to Kitbal Hukisto, Somal and Halka at Krasatai. He be a book, see you have like a missing cray, Halevati, Victor Kiyanikuri. So we quickly entered an area that gave me huge reminiscent vibes from a trip I had back in Mongolia, except not really any horses running around. But have you ever seen camels running across a beautiful green grassland? Enjoy this majestic view of camels having fun. How do we get lost for seven hours? Almost there, you know. Yeah. And we got fuel too. Yeah. And now the, they added someone to give us directions, so we might actually make it. It's not going to take us all the way. Oh, I see. Oh, it will just show us. From here, and then keep going. Oh. And that's how we got lost for seven hours. <laughs> so we have to make a decision if we will keep no, going. We didn't get lost. You're right, we took the extremely scenic route. Should I stay or should I go? No, we're gonna continue. We have feel. We're gonna continue? Oh. You got the feel. Oh, we got feel. I'm continuing. Oh my god, it's like old school gas, Hoy. They're pouring it out of chiricans. Yeah, well, how do you think? <laughs> it's, it is. It's too low. I don't know why. I just thought maybe there would be a gas pump. Let me show you guys. All an illusion. 
vision to me now. So the little little mommy. Antenka, you antenka, you get ka. Okay, as long as you didn't go really out of town, I'm out. I'm happy to move here in the hotel. And if you recall from the last clip a couple minutes ago, this is the exact mountain that we were on the other side of. Imagine, that's how much driving we had to do to get to this point, and we were not let down. Here we are entering Gan Libah National Park. Drive slow, mom. Yeah. Hey, I'm up here. Did you know that? Oh, Okay, we actually made it to Galiba. I didn't think it was gonna happen. I was ready to go home. Um, but yeah, let me show you guys around, show you what we came for, this beautiful fresh air, fresh fauna, and look at these trees, all these unique type of trees that exist on top of the mountain. And the view, wait for the view, yeah? Inshallah. Mashallah. Okay, let's find this viewpoint. At least that's what we came for. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, wow. You can see the view this way, too. Wow. I can't believe it. Oh, my God. Okay, guys. Now this was worth it, Hoyo. I feel like I'm on top of the world. I know so the face. <laughs> ha, we never seen anything like this. This is amazing. Come, there's another viewpoint. 
Oh my god, don't say that word. Didir. What did you find? It's like uh, lavender, but it's not lavender. Uh, Looks like it. And the leaf smells like a lavender. Alright, going on a solo mission. Gonna find the proper, proper viewpoint. I Whoa, this is like a fall to death. <laughs> Ow. It feels like you're gonna fall straight down. The wind is so strong, it sounds like an ocean breeze. Nice view, look at that. Hulkan was so in the body eye. Whoa. Mashallah. Yeah, I can't believe it. I keep thinking it's the flowers that you're carrying, but it's the whole place smells like this. Down there a little bit more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Made it to Anliba after like seven, eight hours. I'm sure you guys were along with the journey. If you enjoyed it, let me know. If you think you would make this long trip, also comment below. But for now, just enjoy the views, the freshest air I've smelt in a long time. I know, I know, you're gonna say, go to Ergavo, go to Burtadala. I'm getting there, guys. One budget at a time, inshallah. Make sure you share, like, subscribe, please and thank you. Yes.
Before dark and before didirka, didir. Come on, what's a didir? I think it's one of those fictional animals that they scared kids with, but gotta go before the didir comes. So we're headed home now with a heart full of spectacular views. I hope you guys can enjoy our beautiful national park if you can endure all the little bits of hassle along the way, but if you can appreciate the journey that comes with the destination, then you will learn to love your motherland again. Come on, I've seen a lot, but mid gate, Katushi Sisara. It's right here. Sukwa Kumba. Lava could have any yet. You can still see him on top of the tree. That is so funny.